show. Well, I think Team, team Awesome is awesome. When you're in a state, tune in to Team Awesome yeah. What's going on, everybody? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh, dude. Snap out of it, camera. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Okay, there you go. Okay, sorry about that. Hey, you're you're awake. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. I mean the camera, not you. You people are there and you're you're fine. Uh, it's me. Who am I? I'm Mike. I'm doing a reaction for Team A. V is in here. Who's that? Go back. Check it out. That's what we do. We got a whole thing. Reactions to stuff. Trailers mainly, but now video games. Why? Because I started gaming again. And that's why <laughs> I'm alone. Because <laughs> V doesn't game. So she does, but she's Sims more. I'm... Like, uh, well, I'm behind. I'm on Far Cry 4 and Little Big Planet, the first one. So, I feel like I should apologize for that. Is that, I'm sorry that I play those games. Okay, well, no, I'm not. I'm getting ga I'm getting back into it. Anyway, uh, let's check this out. I'm familiar with Fallout from the first, obviously the first game, but there was, like, a lot of Let's Plays that people did for Fallout, and then there was, like, New Vegas. I saw a lot of Let's Plays, so I'm very familiar with the game. Having not played it myself, I'm very fam eerily familiar with the game, like, story-wise and everything, because of all the Let's Plays I've seen. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, this is Fallout 76, I believe. Not 77. 76. 77 was Star Wars, I believe, right? Yeah, okay. Oh my god. One nerdy thing at a time. Okay, I'm gonna hit play now in three, two, fun. Okay. Seems pretty standard, from what I recall. War. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I just love the visual, the animation. Our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. Okay. And now, the red menace is at our doorstep. Red menace. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. Cool. That is Not why cool, today, sorry. July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. Nice. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by vault tech but it was built by you <laughs> the good people of america so Listen. that if the bombs do come if the end does come our way of life will endure we hope but not everyone will be saved those yeah. chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest for when the fighting is stopped, there it is, Pep Boy. The fallout has settled. Sorry, you for it. must rebuild. Not just walls, cool. not just buildings, but hearts and minds. All right. And ultimately, America itself. America. So as we stand here today, 2076. We pray that the world Interesting. Will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together. No way. Right. Stand for Fallout in stuff. Vault 76. Our future begins. Nice. Play the beta first on Xbox One. Okay, so I'm still not sure where this is falling in. I know it's Vault 76, but as far as like, I mean, I know like timeline wise, Fallout is like, there's there's clear like definitions of when things happen, but I know they've kind of stated before, but just remind me below because I'm very, I'm very stupid to this again. Far Cry 4, I'm on that. Like, I'm only, I think I'm ha like halfway through, over halfway through Far Cry 4, but I'm getting back to it. Getting back, getting back in the gaming thing. Obviously, something is is going on in the future but i mean like like i think the the reason why they would show that is a very significant reason i know that there's like a it, it's clear for a timeline reference point of reference but i'm hoping that there's there's more to that uh like you know they they're showing that clearly for a reason i i'm looking hardcore into this because i love 
the visual aesthetic i love the the customization i love the open worldness of it and the idea that this is like going to be an, an even more expanded post-apocalyptic sort of retro future which i love i love that it's amazing it's like rosie the riveter but futuristic i'm, I'm all about that i don't know what that's called uh, there's there's different types of punk. There's steampunk. Uh, as far as like there's techno punk, you know. So this I am very pleased with. It's a it's a sort of retro futurism, uh, you know, like the Pep Boy. That's basically what smartphones are now. This whole thing is great. The game mechanics are one of the best parts about Fallout. The collecting, the the running around, getting all this stuff. But the action is like I'm all about. Again, I love the action elements of the game, and the the more creative you can get with the action, the more creative like the tools that they give you within the game to play with, the more fun they are, and the more they interact with the environment and the characters that you're messing with. The more programming of of uh, reactions that they get from from the AI, it's getting more and more sophisticated. Where I'm starting to get really confused now, not between reality and the video game, but just but be between like like is is this thing actually thinking in there? Is there something in there thinking? Like, really? Not really, but really? Just think about it. Deep. Getting too deep on this review. But things I liked. A visual aesthetic, of course, always pleases. It's very simplistic design, but it's so pleasing, and it looks so cool, and I can't get enough. The narration was clearly setting up everything we needed to know. Fallout is very much about immersion, immer immersive gameplay, very much like Bioshock. All gameplay is about immersive gameplay, but Fallout is hardcore about their their immersion like they want you to really swim in that world and it's a gross scary creepy world but man is it fun is that a fun time and you know you just get lost in it i'm looking forward to all kinds of vigi games coming out we got the red dead redemption twa deuce i mean coming up uh looking forward to that red dead deuce can't wait red dead d deuce okay sorry enough with that i wonder if there's going to be any more significance behind any of the of the 76 timeline I mean, like, where where it'll rank and where it's going to, like, as far as timeline and future of Fallout. Where do you want to see it go? I know I want to see it get, like, I want to go even further into the future. Like, what would it be, like, maybe 200, 300, 400 years into the future of, of the Fallout world? I mean, like, and, and, and it's evolved to this whole other thing. Like, I want to know what that's like. I'm so curious. And also, what are other worlds surrounding the Fallout world like within that universe? Like, I'm very curious, too. So, you know, hit me up below. Hit us up in the comments below. And also, any other game trailers or any other thing you want to direct us towards, let us do that. It'll probably just be me. V might do some if they're really cool, like if it's, like, movie-related. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and get her in, in on this, guys. I know sometimes it's like, what? What? We're hanging out with Uncle Mike? Ugh. It's like, what? I'm fun. No, you're not. You're boring. You just do nothing. You just been lie around and do nothing, Uncle Mike. You suck. I don't. I have no argument, though. What will I say? What will I say when they, t when they say, I suck? I'm like, yeah, I do. I can't say. I just say no. Pfft. No, I don't. And that's not even an argument. Description is links below. I'm upset again. We always end this with me getting mad. It's not my fault. Again, you did this to me. Please like and subscribe, by the way. Uh, oof, awkward. Just, okay, just stop. They're saying, both of them, shut up. They're like, they're now they're f like waving at me. They're shut. They're doing this. Oh. This has been Team awesome, man. Wait, wait. Shut up. Yeah.